guys welcome back so um, it's a little hot today um, mother nature doesn't know whether she wants to be cold or hot she's kind of going through some menopause currently because then you know at nighttime it's down in like the 40s and then you know today it's in the 80s like what's going on here like in the camper um, I don't know if you can see it's 87 it's fantastic um, I haven't been in here all day I've been in and out but I did um, so I went to um, Dollar Tree and got some organizational things um, to help kind of fulfill more space to put more of my crap um, because I got a lot of crap and I don't want to give up all of it so I'm gonna have to just shove it in places. It's literally so hot right now like if I was not in town like if we were out on our property in this camper I'd be naked. It's that hot like clothes just feel awful like if you can't tell like I'm just la, 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 nasty feeling sticky Ugh, yuck so and I already got plans like I'm gonna buy me probably next year because summer's coming to an end but next year for summer I have big plans for a homemade pool I'm gonna buy like a big like water trough like what horses and cows use and I'm gonna make that a swimming pool you bet I am so anyways small little update before I get into this um organizational fun that I have planned um, so plans changed really drastically today um, basically Paul called me and told me that it didn't look like he was gonna be able to come home this weekend due to issues with getting back here um, because his personal truck is here right he does have a work truck but if he brings the work truck how are we gonna get his truck back so he was gonna rent a car but then apparently um, it was like $500 to drive from Oklahoma to Indiana and we don't have that for a rental car like we still have to get like a small pull behind trailer um, and other things so we just don't have that so it was gonna look like he was gonna have to come home in two more weeks and I was like mm, like it made me really sad so I like thought all day I'm like what can we do and then it hit me I was like Eureka like we can drive and get Paul. Like, it's gonna suck to drive that many times back and forth to Oklahoma, but I will do it for the love of my life to come home so we can move this weekend. So, um, it looks like, um, we will be getting up at one o'clock in the morning and taking off for Oklahoma because it's a 13 hour drive, but that does not include pee breaks and, um, getting food. I should not have to stop maybe once for gas because i'm taking paul's truck and it holds like it's got a big gas tank like right now it says 468 miles until empty so i should be good on that but other than like potty breaks which will be like every two hours and getting food um it'll, it'll probably be like 13 and a half hours so i want to leave like super early so i will try to document that um not so much while I'm driving, maybe in between when we stop and get food and stuff. And then when we get there, which it'll be early enough in the day, um, Paul's going to take us up to the property to see it. So I'll definitely have to show you guys that. Like, I'm super stoked. Like, super stoked. Um, but anyways, let me show you what I got for to organize my little, my little camper here. Okay, now first things first. So um, Dollar Tree is really good for having super cute, inexpensive stuff because everything's a dollar. Literally, everything's a dollar. So I did find these little baskets, right? Um, ah, ah. Okay, sorry. It's hard to hold the camera and then have your other hand. So I found these baskets, and I figured these are like um, they're like a medium-sized basket that I could either place my idea is to hang everything on the walls because I don't have a whole lot of cabinet space so my plan is to hang these on the walls which with that plan I was gonna buy command hooks um, because they're awesome and here I saw Dollar Tree sells little tiny command hooks perfect and it's a dollar so I buy them and I was a little sketchy I'm like mmm will they work but it's sticky it should work and let me tell you a waste of a dollar it did not work um so with that i bought these and i'm like these are perfect for spice racks like i can put these and hang these and put my 
spices in them. So my plan was to take these and command hook them up here to put my spices in. And even though I have to downsize all my spices because your girl got tons of spices, but I was just gonna do like the basics, like onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, um, slap your mama seasoning, you know, that good stuff. Well, so I put the hooks in and it literally came right off the wall. It just would not stick. So I'm gonna have to go spend like the six bucks on the actual command hooks. Um, that's just me for trying to get cheaper but but i have these smaller ones that i got and i was able i have a hook up here for this one so i was able to hang that one and then um i don't know if you can see i have like the clear um crap thumbtacks thumbnails whatever that i have these now i don't think they'll hold a lot of weight but i can put little stuff in it some little stuff so I don't know what yet but now for these I have a really good idea for these um this is like office stuff so my thinking was the bathroom I want to hang these in the bathroom because we can put soap in it razors um possibly hang stuff from them. I don't know the meshing's really small but you know what I can find I can make it work like I'm gonna make it work it's gonna be awesome so my plan for this is to put you know bathroom stuff so razor that kind of stuff. And with that being said, I also have these um, book rings that I found. And I plan on finding like a little rack and hanging the towels and, um, you know, just looping the towels over them. Yeah. So that's that. Um, and now all this is going to take time to come together. As far as like, I could have spent way more money than I did, but I didn't want to because I want to see how this stuff's going to work out. Um, hot. Also, I bought a couple of these. Now, I think this would be smart. I can put some of Rain's homeschooling stuff in it, um, her books, and stick them, you know, like under the table or like maybe up top here. So it's easier if I have like containers to stick stuff in than just stacking stuff and then like falling. I don't know. That's just, it just makes more sense to me. Okay, this, uh, this may or may not work. This is all like a learning process. So I don't know. So I thought instead of cereal boxes, which can be tall and bulky sometimes, I bought these at Dollar Tree. Um, and these will be perfect size because my kids eat a lot of cereal, but it's mostly breakfast for breakfast. So, um, a couple, like two of these will last us a couple weeks with cereal in it. Maybe maybe. Um, so I, I did that and then I thought I could put, you know, some pasta in here or even like a snack foods. Um, and if it does work out, I'll probably down the road buy more stuff and organize my food with these. But I'm just like just testing the waters with all this stuff. And for the bathroom again, so I found these cute little um, metal, look like trash cans. We'll call them a trash can, but they're miniature. Um, I'm going to hang this on the wall in the bathroom and stick our toothbrushes in it. Um, because like I said, the bathroom is gutted. So there's literally nowhere for us to stick toothbrushes. So this, I bought two of them. So we could do toothpaste and then we can do the other one with our toothbrushes in it. I also bought some bins because I think how I want to go about things with clothes. So kids clothes are fairly small. Uh, you fold them up and they, you know, they're small compared to our clothes that are big and bulky. I think with these, um, I can fold up most of their clothes like I can put underwear and socks and like pajamas shorts in here And then I bought a bunch of hangers like the kids hangers that I can actually hang up in this closet because My kids have clothes, but they don't have an excessive amount of clothes So I think all of their clothes will fit in this closet between the bins. I also bought these bins too um, three each so I can probably fit all the kids' clothes in that closet, which will leave me and Paul all this up here to fold up our clothes and put in there, which I already know we're probably going to have to get rid of, you know, some of our clothes. I don't have a ton of clothes. I wear, I really wear the same clothes all the time. Like, I have my favorites. Um, so I think that that'll be that for our clothes, and I think that'll work out really good. Sucky thing about today is there's like absolutely no breeze and sometimes I wish this camper had like this. I wish this whole window would just open up and just just let the air flow in because the windows only crack so much. I mean you can feel like when there's a breeze you can feel it in here but it's not great like if we had one great big window like it'd be better and it'd be better if there was a freaking breeze today but there's no breeze today. So hopefully when we get up on the mountain there'll be some breeze. I'm hoping. For anybody that's wondering um 
people who personally know me, like family, um, they know that I have a ton of kitchen stuff. Like for every occasion, like my birthday and Christmas and like anniversary, Paul always buys me cooking stuff because he makes sure I'm equipped to do the job as a good husband should. Um, so I have a ton of cooking stuff. And so far I've only had to get rid of just a few things and they were just older like pans. Um, nothing like that I would cry over. I was, so I've, I've had this stuff stuffed, like with my cooking stuff. And there's not a lot of room up here. Like there's just this little gap. So it's all shoved clear back there. All of my, like my cooking sheets, my cast iron skillets, which one of my cast iron skillets got broke. I'm pretty disappointed, but I will get more. This, I still have some room, so I'm excited. Um, I still have some room up here. And down here, I was able, on, like when you lift this up, there's a little bit of storage where the water um, container is. I was able to put my stand mixer down there, and I still have some more room, which I actually will probably have to put like my mom's jewelry box down there, and then Paul's little box that has his grandpa's like pendants and stuff from being in the military. Um, but I really think this is going to work out. And I have been watching, um, some storage videos on people who live in campers or buses and all of their ideas are super great. Um, but like everybody has their own like needs and their own way to function, their own like likes. So I'm trying to like get ideas. So I have to basically come up with like my own kind of stuff, like what's going to work for me and my family. And my, I think just like filling the walls with, you know, storage i mean it has to of course work like you know i can't put anything over here because this on my stove comes like you lift it up so it wouldn't allow it if i put it over here so i think hanging stuff up here up here even on the door like i'm gonna get one of those um the shoe things for your shoes to hang up here it's already got a, a hook uh, to put our shoes in to get that out of the way um <laughs> I mean, I've got a ton of room, and I'm like, I've got this in here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have to show you. So those are my mom's, and I didn't want to part with them, but they also come in handy. Like, if you look, I have this one over here, um, and I have my cookbooks down here, and I still have more cookbooks to put up there, and I can put, you know, more, maybe some of Rain's homeschooling stuff up there. Um, hopefully that works when we put the different mattress in here. Um, I tried to tell Paul maybe we should just like cut our mattress to fit and he like laughed at me and told me no. So I feel really rushed since um, I have to go in the morning to go pick Paul up because I thought I had all week to kind of like get this put together and now um, I'm losing like a whole almost two days because I'm I'm leaving Wednesday morning at one o'clock and of course we'll stay the night and we'll get up and leave Thursday morning, but we still won't get back until like Thursday evening. So I'm gonna have like Friday, maybe Saturday if we leave Sunday. But I, I, I feel kind of rushed and I know how Paul is. Like he's gonna be like, well, what have you been doing all this time? And I, I have done a lot. I've really done a lot. I've got rid of a lot of stuff. I have, you know, some people coming over today and buying the rest of my bedroom furniture. So it's it's a process oh yeah and i don't know if she still watches me but jill if you're watching um your cups you bought me came in handy because they're not glass so i can still have my wine cups and be out in the boonies drinking out of my wine cups um if y'all don't know um jill is actually the daughter of a resident that i cared for and um she sent me a a package uh, this was a, a couple months ago a while ago and she had watched she was watching my videos and watched how I liked to drink wine and how I talked about these cups how I really I really liked these these wine tumblers they were so cool so she went out and bought me like I don't know how many is in here Four. like eight of them she put me like eight of them in a wine bottle opener so i still have those jill so i'm gonna be using those on my new adventure if you're still watching me i appreciate you and i miss you so i'm excited for that oh yeah and i i stocked up on some some paper plates because um it'd be easier we can just burn them instead of having to wash and waste water on that so um, not forever, but just temporarily using the paper plates. And I cannot wait to show you guys. I have so many goodies that Paul has bought me um, so that I can 
kind of have some of the stuff that I have like now. So for example, I have absolutely no room for a coffee pot. No room. So, um, Paul bought me a per Oh, hell. It's telling me now how it's going to be in this camper. Like, I am super clumsy and I make messes and break stuff. Is this a, is this a sign? Is this a sign from, from Jesus that this is how it's going to be? Okay, now that that mess is cleaned up. Paul bought me a percolator. Um, if you don't know what a percolator is, it's another way to make coffee. You make it over the stovetop or an open flame. Um, and basically, so it's got this little container in here that you put your coffee grounds in and um, you boil the water and as you pour your, hang on, <laughs> get it there. Okay, and as you pour your water out, that boiling water goes through the coffee grounds and makes coffee, voila. I've read great reviews, like I went through so many of these to find like a good one. And I just told Paul, I'm just gonna start off with a cheap one. I just wanna make sure that I like it, that it's a good method to use. Um, so maybe down the line, if I do like the percolator, that I will buy a more expensive one. But sometimes expensive is not always better. So this is what I'll be making coffee out of, I'm so excited. Um, to try it. So I would definitely be making a video on that when I use that. I'm so excited for that. I freaking love coffee. So had to have my coffee. With that being said, I plan to do a, most of my cooking outside just because I love cooking over the fire. I love the whole outside scenery. If the we bleh, 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 weather is permitting, I will cook outside. Um, with that being said, Paul also bought me a like grill like to go over the fire. It's like a camping, like a cast iron grill um, that I plan on setting my percolator on to cook my... Um, my coffee and you're like so you're gonna make a fire every morning to cook your coffee not necessarily I do have um, these burners I can cook it over the stovetop um, but fires are fairly simple especially if you're just making a small one so I have no problem making a fire every morning if that's what I choose to do so that's all I have for right now um, my next video shall be of us in Oklahoma and our trip to go pick Paul up I apologize if it comes out late um this this whole week is just a little chaotic this well the past two weeks have been chaotic so I apologize just stick with me this is gonna be a really fun adventure and I'm so excited like I have I don't have any doubts I do question some stuff um, that may or may not happen and what's gonna go on but I'm just staying positive about all of it because it's um, a very like this is an opportunity for me and Paul and we'd be stupid not to take it even if it ends up not like turning out how we think or want it to turn out but I think it will turn out how we want it to turn out because if we just stay positive and we <sighs> sorry like Matilda over here has got bubbles in the, the camper anyways if we make things happen they will happen the way we want it it's gonna be hard work we know it's gonna be hard work we never said it's gonna be easy and it's all just gonna come together no 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 we are realistic about things we are realistic um, I have to get stuff around because we have to go to bed early because I gotta get up early to go get my hubby so <sighs> shut up um, so yeah so this is just some like organization ideas that I have and once I get everything done um, I will definitely show you guys, and I have so many fun videos planned out as soon as we get to Oklahoma. So, thanks for watching, and the next time you see my video, I will be in Oklahoma. So, see you guys later.